If you love your terminal and the .NET CLI is a tool that you are always using, there's an amazing feature that I will show you today that is tab completion. I will show you not only how this feature works, but also how you can configure it. So let's take a look. First of all, if you are a Mac OS user, a Windows user, Linux user, there's a way to do this that I'll be doing in your machine as well. You just need to follow the same type of instructions that I will be doing, and there will be a different snippet that you'll need to copy uh, during the process. But before you start, you need to make sure that you have one of the versions of the SDK that is compatible with this feature. To do that, it's quite simple. You basically go to your terminal and you type .NET dash dash version. And if you are using a version above .NET Core 2.1, for sure, you'll be able to do this. Let's start by doing the, the first step. So the first step is, what is this tab completion thing? So basically, if you go into your CLI and you type .NET complete, and then you say some text for a .NET CLI that you want to complete. For example, if I want to do a .NET A, let's see what options .NET A can lead me to. It will tell me that I have the add, pack, clean. There are multiple commands that have the A letter there. So for example, let's do the same, but this time with four. So this time only the format. So this is the basics for what we want to achieve. So this is the command that under the hood will be triggering to find which options we can lead to a tab. Okay, so when we are typing, for example, .NET 4, we want to tab and automatically complete it to format. What will be happening is that every time that under the hood it will be using .NET complete, it will basically look into the options list and will pick the ones that start by that text that you are providing. For example, in this case, there's only one option. And on this case, .NET A, there's multiple options, but in fact, only one of them starts with an A. So this is what will be happening under the hood. But this is completely useless, okay? No one wants to have this experience of running .NET complete something to find which option it is. Otherwise, we'll be just using .NET dash dash help, and we find the option that you want, we copy paste and turn. We want to have that rich experience of using the tab. So let's see how to configure it. Let's go to the documentation. And on the documentation, you will find not only this explanation that I just give to you, but also the snippets that you need to copy. For example, if you are using PowerShell, there's a snippet here, bash script, ZSH, that will be my case. On each case, there will be a configuration file that you need to set. For example, if you are on Windows using PowerShell, you just run Notepad dollar profile and you paste this thing there i will be doing this for zsh so first thing that i'll be doing is copy zsh now let me open my terminal and now i will run nano zshrc and i already have some things here but let's ignore them and i will paste here my comments okay this is exactly the thing that i just copied now that it's saved the only thing that i'll be doing is running a command so my terminal reloads all the settings based on that. So I will basically do source.zshrc. Now that is installed, I can start using my .NET completion with using my tab. So what does that mean? Now let's run a command, for example, .NET new, and I don't want to type the new, I'll just type the n. And now I use the tab and it will suggest I have two options. I either use new or nougat. So what I'll be doing is that I, I want new. So I either type it or I press tab once again and we'll pick the first one. If I type uh, the tab once again, it will move to nugget. Otherwise I'll keep moving and you'll iterate through the list. So .NET new console and here we go. Now that we already have our console, there are other things that would be useful to do. I would love to provide, for example, extra um, arguments based on flags. Or for example, if I'm installing a package, the command is something like .NET add package. So I want that. So when I do this .NET add p and I press tab on my configuration, it will not work. If you are using the configuration for PowerShell, for example, you will not have this problem. I think that this is a bug that exists at the moment, but I will show you how to fix it if you are facing the same thing using macOS or Linux, for example. 
So now I will just press the tab. And as you can see, it doesn't present me an option of package. It is presenting a pack or a publish. Why does this is happening? Because, for example, if you list all the options for .NET P, let's use that command .NET complete, and now .NET P. You will see that the options that he provides me, that starting with the P, is the pack and the publish. So I came up to the conclusion that the problem is based on this snippet that I just copied. It's related to the configuration for ZSH. I have tried with Bash and on PowerShell, it doesn't happen. If you have this problem, what I realized is that when this .NET complete command is executed in this function, the dollar words doesn't contain the complete text. There's a quick fix that you can do to solve that. You can simply go to function and before this local completions, let's just paste one thing here. So basically I'm now defining a new variable, the words variable, and I'm reading it again from the console to into that into that variable so now what will happen is that this time the dollar words will capture the complete text that i'm providing because if you do dot net something a p for example that p needs the context of the something that came before so let's just save this thing and i will reload the configuration once again as you remember when i was executing dot net at p it was not returning me to me an option as a package, .NET add package. So let's see how it goes now. So .NET P package, perfect. So what I want to see to now is that if based on this, my fix, it will suggest me other things. For example, when I run a .NET build, I want to provide the configuration. So I will just type a C tab configuration, perfect. So I want the configuration release, R tab, Perfect, release. You can see how productive you can be with this small feature that often you don't have it, but if you use the CLI, it will be extremely useful for you. And now let me show you a really cool feature of this thing. So you can see the power of this feature. If you want to install a package, you can use this autocomplete thing to help you out. For example, you can do .NET add package, and now, you know that you want to install Newtonsoft, okay? So you want, you know that you start something like this. So now you write Newt and you press Tab, and what will happen is that, is that you have the suggestion of a lot of packages starting by that. So now, okay, it's the Newtonsoft. Interesting that we have a new Tom Soft. So you do Newtonsoft dot, for example. I'm not writing dot JSON. And I will press the tab. And now it suggests me a refined list based on that. So now let's write a J tab, come up with newtonsoft.json, the one that I want. Now I just need to press enter and here we go. So as you can see, this is extremely useful. You will be saving a lot of keystrokes and you will become more productive when you are running with uh, .NET CLI. Let me know how was your experience configuring this feature let me know if you are using ZSH as well and you have the same problem as I. And if you really like to use your .NET CLI, take a look into this video where I will show you how to use an awesome .NET tool that will be really helpful for you. I will see you soon. In the meanwhile, just keep things simple.